I just want to speak to you really quickly about revival and what that means. Revival is not just about the Spirit of God being poured out upon us um, and a greater intensity of the Spirit of God in our midst um, with you know people crying in the Spirit, laughing in the Spirit and signs and wonders and you know miracles and healing and you know and prophecies and words of knowledge. Revival is about when Paul said walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's what revival is about. It's about the old man dying and so the flesh dying and you rising up a new spiritual person. It's about a change of culture. It's about me laying down my culture and picking up the culture of Jesus Christ, okay? And living His culture and His lifestyle. That's what revival is all about. So I was struggling for a little bit, not in my faith, not any of that stuff, but for a couple of months, I, I just, I was struggling. It's just like, I, I want some of this. And many of you probably may or may not feel the same way, but whenever Leslie or Yaku would call me up to, you know, call up to a stage, I felt like my hind end was stapled in that seat. And I couldn't get up. I didn't get up, and I should have got up. So, last Sunday, I did get up. Thanks to my wife for saying Yaku needs help because people are getting slain in the spirit. So I came up here, but I wanted it. And I'm stepping over people, and I'm trying to help, and I'm praying. I remember Leslie walking off to the side, like, okay, we're done. And I remember stepping over people, touching her shoulder, and said, I want this. And I raised my hands up to the Lord, and I said, okay. I've been in this valley for two months. I've asked for it. I want you to do it. And all I remember is, is touching Leslie's shoulder. I went down and had an experience I've never had before. I had I had my shell, but my flesh was about 500. It didn't hurt, didn't feel a thing, but my flesh was about 500 degrees. And it was just burning. And it was replacing with joy. I couldn't stop crying. I couldn't stop laughing. I apologize to you, Selena, because we're driving home. I didn't know if I could drive home. And she's like, what are you giggling over? It's like, I can't stop. So laying down on, and when I was laying in the spirit, I got up and Jesus told me, this is day one. I remember texting Leslie and Yaku, who were on day two, two. It's like, okay, this isn't stopping. This is just keeps on going on and on. And I'm going to get to an important part. So then I hit Friday, a little bit of a valley. And you got one of two choices. You can either go in that valley and be in the flesh, or you can walk out of that valley and be in the spirit and came back into the spirit. If I could give any one of you any advice, when you have an altar call, when you feel your but staple to that seat. You get up here and run. I mean it. Why did I wait? Run and get this. It's okay. It's totally okay. The biggest thing that I figured out was that the love of Jesus Christ doesn't make a difference what you do, what kind of morning you had, what kind of day you had. He just loves you. Oh, all of my fear I will turn into praise I'll shake off despair as I sing out your name A victory dance, I will dance out in faith I will crush disappointment and break it with Oh, all of my fear I will turn into praise I'll shake off despair as I sing out your name A victory dance, I will dance out in faith Will crush disappointment and break every chain. Oh, all of my fear, I will turn into praise. As I sing out your name, a victory dance, I will dance out in vain. I will crush disappointment and break every chain. So Awesome.
possible. Oh, Father, you said that all things are possible. All things are possible. Father, you said it, you said it, you said all things are possible. All things are possible for those who believe. All things, all things, all things, all things, all things, all things, all things. All things are possible. All things are possible. Thank you, Lord. All things are possible. All things, all things, all things. So revival is all about people's lives being changed. 